Good morning children. Welcome to story time and I'm going to read you today a book called The Hospital Dog. It's by an author called Julia Donaldson and we know Julia Donaldson's books don't we? We've read lots of those before. Stick Man and The Gruffalo and Move on the Broom and A Squash and a Squeeze. She's written so many lovely books. And this person here, Sarah Ogilvy, is the illustrator who drew all the lovely pictures. Okay, let's have a look. Here is a dog, a Dalmatian called Dot. Is she quite ordinary? No, she's not. Here is Dot's owner, a lady called Rose, with rings on her fingers and specks on her nose. After their breakfast of porridge and tea, Rose and her dog always swim in the sea. Then they hop onto bus number 78 and the bus drops them off at the hospital gate. Here are the children in Wallaby Ward, most of them happy but some of them bored. A girl's feeling shy and a baby is howling, a toddler's cross and a teenager scowling. A visitor's jumping about like a frog, but look who's arrived. It's the hospital dog. There she is, peeping round the door. Bee's feeling nervous. Today's her first day. She wonders how long she'll be going to stay. There's a tear in her eye and an ache in her head. But look who's appeared on the chair by her bed. A pat and a stroke and a cuddle with Dot. Is Bee feeling scared still? No, she's not. Gus, who is older than all of the others, would rather be out playing ball with his brothers. He's read all his books and he's tired of TV. But here is a dog he's delighted to see. A pat and a stroke and a cuddle with Dot. Is Gus feeling bored still? No, he's not. Here's baby Katie. She's hot and what's more, she's covered in spots and her tummy is sore. It seems that she'll never stop crying. Boo hoo! Till Dot lifts a paw to say, how do you do? A pat and a stroke and a cuddle with Dot. Is Katie still crying? No, she's not. Dot's making everybody feel better, isn't she? Dot gets a hat and makes friends with a bear. She plays with a ball and she rides in a chair. She calms down a doctor. She cheers up a mummy. She lets little Tyler play Tickle Dot's tummy. She looks like she's enjoying that, doesn't she? Here is a boy who is deaf. He's called Joe. Rose helps her dog make the sign for hello. Joe's going home now. His cough is much better. Mum packs his toothbrush and Dot packs his sweater. Dot's going home too. The ward round is done. She's sorry to leave, but the lift ride is fun. Look, can you see she's pressing the button with her paw? Off to the bus stop go five pairs of feet. Then Joe sees a friend and steps into the street. Here comes a car, but he can't hear it come. Rose isn't watching and nor is Joe's mum. Oh dear, he forgot to look, didn't he? Dot rushes out and she pushes Joe back, but her, the car hits her leg with a la sudden loud smack. Poor Dot. I think she'll be okay, don't you? She doesn't look very happy at the moment though, does she? 
Let's see what happens. A trip to the vet and an x-ray for Dot. Is Dot feeling happy? No, she's not. The vet says, don't worry, it's not a disaster. Her leg will be fine after six weeks in plaster. Six weeks to wait, that's a very long time. Dot has a limp and she can't jump or climb. No swimming, no bus rides. Dot's feeling bored. But here come the children from Wallaby Ward. Joby and Katie, Tyler and Gus, we're visiting you like you visited us. A pat and a stroke and a biscuit for Dot. Is she enjoying it? Yes, a lot. That's cheered her up, hasn't it? She looked after the children when they weren't very well. And then when she wasn't very well, they've come to see her. That's the last page. I hope you enjoyed that.